Chisholm Studios here, starting a whole new series today, the first time ever patrolling here in GTA 5. Uh, we'll be showcasing a couple mods that, of course, you guys are already aware of. First one's going to be the Police Mod 1.0 Charlie. Um, if you've seen my buddy Jake Lennon's videos so far, he's got him in his. Um, also got, the, of course, the wonderful Data Trainer. Uh, this is, of course, for, from Alexander Blade, so great, you know, crowd credits to him on the trainer there because it works out really well as far as, you know, patrolling goes. Um, I've also got the online bypass script hook that you guys have seen some of my Twitch, and if you've watched any of the other videos I've done so far in here in GTA 5 goes, um, it's using that on uh, the, that same script as well online. But so today I'm doing single player patrol. Um, so let's get out here, see what we can get into, um, and, you know, let's let's get out there. Alright guys, so it looks like we're responding to a gun battle that's currently in progress. Um, let's see, it's between civilians. It looks like it's really far out here. Let's see if we can get to it though. Now one thing I do like about GTA 5 is you know you have the mixed options here of either playing online or not online, but uh, you get the you know the whole third person view, or if you want to, you can go down and get into single or oh my gosh, I can't drive tonight. Really? Oh, oh, I, I hit him so hard it killed him. Okay, well that's just great. We'll we'll call a coroner for that later. But yeah, here's that uh, other view I was uh, talking about the the first person, which is so much better now that it's integrated here into uh, the option. Uh, it integrated into five versus it being outside of GTA Five. Did I pass where they're shooting? I mean, what, what's going on here? Oh, okay. So I, that was a clip. <laughs> Sorry, guys. A little, little, still getting used to this. But as you guys can, of course, see here, this is all, other than the script here and the trainer added in. That's you know, here's the native graphics of GTA 5. I've so far been so impressed with it uh, compared to you know what GTA 4 was and everything else. But you know, I guess that to be fair, you know, with GTA 5 being a you know a 2015 release, it's a lot better than you know what else we've seen. So it's all right. Oh shit! Get out of the car and you, I can take some cover here. Well, I did that. That's okay. Anyway. Uh, can I call back up? Nope. Well, I guess I'm on my own right now, especially as a sheriff. Gotta get used to that. So this guy's. Oh! I think that got him. Got my weapon secure. Alright. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call this scene code 4 and I'm going to return tonight. Alright guys, so we just got on a traffic stop here. The vehicle was driving way too fast. Um, as you guys can see with the new policing mod, it is a little bit different here uh, where the civilian does get out of the car and so do you. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and ask them for their driver's license here. Seventy years old, not really, but uh, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and issue a ticket. Go ahead and let them get on their way. And apparently it was this car here. Not okay. Well, that's a little weird, but all right, whatever. I can I can make that work. That's fine. Well, I'll go ahead and get underway from there and let that uh person keep walking there <laughs> all right all right guys so I have gone ahead and I've switched up the mods here as well I'm now slipping over and starting to use the mods that is by SAPD uh, Rapid Response or Palm Beach Games uh, for both mods that I've used you guys will see the links below in the channel um, but just want to go ahead and get this one you know, explored a little bit just see what it's like out there just uh, just wanting to see what all the mods we got are you know just 
just so we can get a feel of what's going to be available for GTA 5. And of course, I can't wait and I'm always anticipating the one from uh, LCPDFR or G17 Media, which will be LSPDFR. But uh, let's go ahead and we'll get out in the streets here, maybe do some responses to calls. With this particular mod, there is not an option to uh, pull over uh, any type of civilian, so we will uh, just respond to calls for the moment. Looks like we got a suspicious person's call here that we're going to be responding to. Uh, as you guys can see, I am in the unmarked uh, Buffalo by Bravado car. So we'll get out here and uh, find out what's going on with this uh, suspiciously person. One of the things I definitely like about GTA 5 so far that I've seen is that there are different options in regards to, uh, like, each car has its own type of siren that you hear. If you ever get into, like, a fire truck or an ambulance or whatever, it's so different, which makes it just, I can't wait for modding. It's, 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 the more mods available, it's, it's going to be awesome. Do, do you not hear the siren? Come on, really? Oh, it looks like we got one, two, three, and we got. Oh shit! Shots already been fired. Yeah, uh, stun gun is not gonna do us any good here. Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Okay, well, I, I I guess you know the excessive use of force is kind of needed there, but all right, whatever. Where's this other guy out here? Is he in the building? Or <laughs> so apparently, I just can't jump to save my life there. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're going to go ahead and just call that scene clear and, uh, you know, move move on from there. You know, I don't need any of that. No whispered target found. Oh, well, that's cool. There's a spotlight. Look at that. Although it's not motionable. Maybe it's just like your handgun flashlight or something that I'm activating there. Yeah, well, all right. I'm going to get my car fixed up here, and we're going to go back to being tonight. All right, guys, so we just got another response for shots fired here in the city. Um, I did go ahead and switch off the sheriff player, and now I'm going to be playing as like highway patrol here in uh, one of those FBI cars, as you guys saw in the uh, previous uh, episode, in the previous uh, you know call out there. Um, I did switch back over to the other uh, police 1.0 Charlie mod just to because I liked it better, like the feel of it better than the one by Rapid Response. Um, so let's uh, let's swing it on scene here and see if we can find out what's going on. Looks like the call is actually... Oh, and there's a stopped car on the side of the road. Well, thank you, sir, for stopping for my siren. However, you know, maybe I should pay attention when I'm driving. <laughs> Let's get up here. Right, so I'm not there, but back up and around. I'm sorry for a little more commentary on this video than usual, guys. Um, just trying to test this out, let you guys see it as well, and then maybe enjoy the patrol, too, with somewhat... So we're on scene here. Gonna go ahead and pull something other than that stun gun out. I hear him yelling. And some lag there. I hear ya.
backup call actually works out there while we're at it. Go ahead, I'm gonna get up here, see if I can find out where this guy is. Oh, yep, they're up there on that roof. All right, so let's see here. I can get range on them. There we go. So is that all of them up there? No, it couldn't be. I should look careful when I'm walking here. Oh. Whoa. What the hell? So backup comes and they shoot at me. I, I don't even want to know. Just don't even want to know. <laughs> Alright, let's see where the rest of these guys are here because I still hear them yelling. You fucking fucker. <laughs> okay, so note to self don't try nose diving into a door. I'm going to have to use some of the wonderful trainer options there. Sorry guys, hate for technical difficulties like that to mess with shit. Alright, so let's find out why can't I not get up there. to me. Nope. I don't really see any other heads up there as far as people. Whoa! 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 Shit! Shit! And then I respawn as Michael. Oh my god. Fuck you. Holy shit. Alright, well, let's go ahead and we'll get the that code for officer down. <laughs> Alright guys, so, could be the last call that we're going to take for this evening. It looks like we got a pursuit that's currently ongoing. Um, I have gone ahead and switched up my car as well, so this should be a little more interesting being on the police bike and trying to be in a pursuit. So, let's, uh, see what happens there. <laughs> oh, oh, looks like they already got them stopped too. Maybe just a quick and easy... Oh, oh, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. We need backup, backup. Alright guys, that scene is going to be code 4 and weapon is secure. Alright guys, well I hope you guys got to enjoy that short patrol there. Uh, we'll be doing a little bit more in depth and a little more serious patrols later on, but I wanted to get you know some of these mods and you'll know, take a look at it and actually test it and finally post it here on YouTube. Um, but so far it's so good. Modding is going great for GTA 5 and I look forward, like I said, looking forward to seeing LCPDFR push uh, the LSPDFR mod out because that uh, looks really promising compared to the other ones out there. However, you know, for right now, those of you looking just for a good mod, good decent mod to patrol with, 1.0C is fairly, you know, it's a decent mod to roll with. Um, I do like the uh, other mod that's with the Byrap, uh, uh, Palm Beach Games, which is the LSAPDFRR, but um, I think at heart we're all LCPDFR G17 media fans, but you know we'll get out there, we'll see what it's like, um, and I look forward to seeing you guys in multiplayer or seeing you online. All right, and HSM Studios is going to be out.